Hey everyone, Oxlover back again with dear old Blondie and she looked cool. <laughs> I do like looking at her, I, I love how I made it look so pretty. Um, you know, she doesn't look ugly. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> this video is um, what I'm going to do today is show you how I salvage. Um, you can do it solo, but I have another account. Where are we? Tonius, there he is, look. And he has got a destroyer. Now, this, the destroyers are a good option to do salvages again. I'll show you this fit. You see, he's got three salvages on, and he's got these small tracker beams. This is what pulls the salvage in, into the ship. Um, now, this is a, a decent fitting for a destroyer. And you can do this as a alpha player. Um, just to sort, you, you you would just have T1 stuff. He's one of my original characters. So the last time I played him was 13 years ago. Um, but then I had um, well, I had about four or five accounts, and um, yeah, I've re re reopened them all, so I can use them all. You can do this solo, but what you would have to do, you would have to have obviously your your ship that you use for the mission, and also a destroyer here in the in the hangar. Whereas at the moment I've only got the one ship here um, myself on this particular account, but you can do it solo. But then you would have to come back prior to handing the mission in. Do not hand the mission in if you're doing it solo because you jump into your destroyer when you come back and go back to the site where you had the uh, mission from. Now, <clears throat> it's another good way of making money because as you can see there, on my last mission, I had the Bretonius go also and pick this up. And this is what he picked up, all this lot, from his salvaging. So he's got a reasonable salvage skill set. So you need to get your salvaging up I think to level 3 at least, to get this sort of um, stuff from the salvage wrecks, because look at the value. I want to sell it, which I'm going to. So I've got him to give it to me, and that's 357,195.71 is. So it's not bad going, actually. So if you keep on doing this while mission running, you are going to make extra money, and slowly but surely, if you keep on doing it, so sell it, watch it, oh come on, yes, and there it goes, 357,196, I just sell it immediately, I don't look at the contract to try and get the biggest amount of money for it, because it could take you ages, so I just sell it immediately. <clears throat> These are all um, stuff that I got from um, farming the uh, roids, well not the roids, but the um, enemy once I've killed them but anyway to be able to salvage properly well, obviously we need to do the, uh, the quest line so let's do another quest another mission and hopefully it's going to be a lot of um, ships the following mission must be completed to finish this mission destroy the rogue drones and then report back to your agents so hopefully that's a lot you see that only gives us 136 and 111 K but 213 loyalty points, which is good. Sometimes that can be, I mean, I did two missions ago, it was 300 and something K they gave us, but it's a special mission, I think. Anyway, we accept it, close. And at the moment, I am in a fleet with Bretonius, as you can see. Bretonius and me are in a fleet. So you can put yourself in the fleet with two accounts, <clears throat> but you can't have two accounts running on an Alpha. You can only have one account running on an Alpha. It has to be Amiga. You have to subscribe to be able to run both accounts at the same time. So that's the only downside with um, playing freebie. You've got to do it all yourself on your lonesome, <clears throat> unless you join a corporation, of course. Anyway, I want to show you this. Let's set destination, so we've got to go. So she keeps on sending us somewhere else. So what we do, Active. obviously if you're doing this solo, you've got to do the mission first. So that's what I'm doing, but I'm leaving 
Plutonius in the stations for the moment because he'll get blasted even though he's um, high skill level the ship he's flying and the destroyer will get blown up pretty quickly if it, he comes to <clears throat> the area that I'm going to without me killing all the ships first but if you're doing it solo it doesn't matter because you have to come back it's only a bit more time consuming that's all Let's see what we've got for us this time. And if I survive. <laughs> you can think that uh, these missions, because you've been doing okay well, so far, you get a bit, right. bit, bit blase, but don't be. Because some of the rogues in these um, level 2 missions, they can be quite hard. Um, they suddenly get you right the way down. Alright, let's get my tracking back on. My armor back on. So they're active. Go into PvP mode. So I can see them all when we get there. Oh, we've got a gate to go through. This is what you get. So they're in instances. So this is this is normal. So we've got to activate this gate. When I can. There we go. Activate gate. Let's burn our way to it. You can have two or three rooms, what they call rooms, so this gate will lead you into another instanced area where hopefully my um, enemy will be. But there could be two or three rooms in some of the um, quests or missions really. It's not just two rooms. So this will be the first room, there's nothing here. But the second room, hopefully we'll get a few Blood Raiders. Yeah, look, here we go. Quite a few, actually. Oh, and there's another gate. So, see, this is more rooms. But this is why when I say don't hand the mission in when you finish if you're doing it solo. Let's get some of these marked up. We've got to kill these before we can go through the gate. That's just normal. You won't get through the gate without killing them. Right, let's first one. I'm letting them shoot me first before I take my drones out so they don't attack the drones, hopefully. They don't very often change target, so they don't often target your drones. As long as they're shooting at me first. So I get all their aggro. But doesn't mean that they won't. Alright, get hold of him. Uh -oh. I'm not doing any damage. I found this on one of my minutes. Oh, I did. Got him there. I had to change the weapons because um, the, ma the ammunition it wasn't doing enough damage. Let's get the ground drones on that one. Drones on that one. We will do this one. Cool. Do that one as well. They're going down quite quick. And the drone's got on that one. <laughs> Let's get that one next. And get these marked up. Why can't I get Oh, they're, oh, they're miles away, look. Mm, they are miles away go to them shall we we need to get them because I don't think we can get through the gate but I can't leave them here because um, Brutonius will have to come here when we need to get all this stuff what I'm going to do I'm not going to while out there I'm just saying I'm not going to um, loot these I'll let Brutonius loot them so it makes this a little bit quicker doing it that way. They are a long way off, aren't they? Hmm, I wonder if I can... Let's change my ammo. Put radio on. <clears throat> See, the, the max orbital distance there is 44 kilometers, but um, I don't know if we'll hit any of them. Uh, 
I'm not sure if we could go through there and leave them here. But I don't want to leave them here because Petronius has got to come. And now marmalize him. Oh, they're following. I wonder where the drones were. They're following me. The omen is quite quick. I've got um, a good uh, rate of speed on it at 735, which is cool. Can I target these yet? Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Ah. Low tech harvester. Hmm. Do that one. Keep at 30 kilometers. Now I'm using my radio stuff because it's got the longer range, but I've got to keep them at a distance. Let's get that off. the drones. Now we've got to get that gate activated. Wait till the drones get in. Okay, let's go. You see, there's all that loot there. That lot, oh look, they've got no loot in them. So he can be, he's alright to get here. But we'll get him here when we're done. Right, let's activate the gate. <clears throat> so yeah, you can have two or three rooms that you need to go to. There we go. Let's load our multi-frequency again to get the close one. We'll see how we go. Well, only one. Oh, yeah, there's going to be more, no doubt. Come on, get on him. There's going to be more when we kill him. No doubt about that. <laughs> I won't get the drones out yet until all the others have spawned. We should be able to still fly them out now. got ah oh, we start that's it yeah because it says set destination right what I do now obviously if it was you on your own you'd have to fly back to the destination but when you get there if you wanted to um, salvage all those drones do not hand the mission in wait until you've got your other ship come back here and then get all the uh, stuff out so we can do that at the moment we've got to go and open up the fleet option which is our fleet there this is the fleet so I need to tell him where I am so if I click on that broadcast location Madion whatever that's where we are so we go back to the other one he can see that we're there so he can right clicks on that set destination so I can now go to Blondie so I 
disembark or undock as they say and I'll have the option there we go to get to the same system as Blondie is on as you can see it's well loaded for salvaging And like I said, if you're doing it solo, get yourself a destroyer because um, you can get these and um, all T1 stuff as an alpha because you make some more money. Yeah, it's a bit more time consuming, but something else to do. And the destroyers have good um, amount of um, high points there, so you know they normally have quite a lot. So you can get these on there like that, and I'll show you how you do that. We now, because she's in uh, with fleet, so you've got it in the fleet, so you right click on the one you want to go to, so click to Blondie, fleet, walk to member, and that will take us to the first route. It won't take us to Blondie, it will take us to the first room where she had to use the gate to get through to the second room. So let's put that on PvP just in case. I don't think there would be any... Um, no, see it's the first gate. So if we go to loot... Oh no, it's gone there. Um, No, the loot was at the other gate, wasn't it? Let's have a look. I'm sure there's loot here. My memory's terrible. Activate gate, let's double check. Otherwise, it's only that one. I oh, know, there was a second room, wasn't there? What was there? <gasps> I'm freaking only just done it. Oh, yeah, here we go. The loot's all here. So, all we do, stop. That's it, we've stopped. We don't need to go through that gate yet. There's only one bit of loot there. But, target them as many as you can. Oh, we're only allowed to uh, think. Right, it's within 20 uh, kilometres, so these only work with the 20 kilometres. But you pull them towards the ship. 20 kilometres, 20 kilometres. Then go to that one, because you've got them on tractor. The tractor beam's taking those three with us. So you can move. So you just move closer to that one, because I've got four tractors on. That's it, get that one tracking. And once they're within 5,000 metres, you can use your salvages. It's a minimum of 5,000 metres. So salvage that one, salvage that one. And there we go, we're salvaging them. <clears throat> and because they've got no gear inside them, uh, normally if they had gear inside them, they'd drop a container with the gear that's in them. Oh, I want that one as well. Right, let's get that one and get that one if we can. We can do. Right, let's target these. These are quite a long way off. Yeah, I can't target them yet. Oh yeah, they were the long ones off, weren't they? But it's worth doing this because see, you're getting this stuff and it's worth a few pennies. Come on. So let's get that one on there. We can put two on the one, and then put one on that one. <clears throat> to be honest, I don't know if putting two on there makes it any quicker, but I always do if I've got any left. That's it, let's got that one. Good. That's it, we've got them all. Let's go to this other one. So we need to go to that. Let's put a burner on. There they are. He's reasonably quick as well, look. Speed's going up. 600, 700. I think he's faster. Yeah, 800. It's going to go to 900. Nearly got to 1,000. So he's a bit quicker than Blondie's ship. He's going to drop below 1,000. <clears throat> okay, we've got that one now. We can 
Target hit. And get them all in. That's it. So cool. And now we can salvage that one. Salvage that one. Salvage that one. Have to wait till that one's done. That's 18, so we can get that now. Got that one. That's it, we don't have to move anywhere now, we just salvage them. Wait for that one to come to 5,000. That's so cool. You can hear the thumping because it's on my other uh, character because it's on the same computer, obviously. I right, get all three on. <laughs> Don't know if it makes any difference, but I always do. I get the last one, get all three flowers on. I don't think it makes it any quicker. There we go. Done. Okay, now if we go through the gate, we're going to go and get that last one, just so we can meet the old blondie, and then get back just from there. Come on, get to the gate. It's a thrasher. Good ship this. Good destroyer. If you want to arm it. But I use it for salvaging. So she's a bit vulnerable. There we go. Come on, go. Cool, oh, that's a slow vector. It's normally a bit quicker than that. So there you have it guys, you can, um, on these missions you get more than one room sometimes. What they call a room, there she is, look, Blondie, she's over there. <laughs> right, where's that wreck? There it is. So just pull it in, oh, target it first. Pull it in, and again it's got nothing in it, but the salvage is worth it. Can't sell with you yet, it's got to be within 5,000, see? 5,000 metres. That's it. Get all three on. Cool. Now, destination to go back, we go over here. And where are we? Barrow. I know it's where I've got the Tritanium, so I just put that. Set destination. Once I've like that's it, got it all and go to warp and warp to the gate warp drive and active. tab to the other account and do the same but we can let's put that down destination's already set so we go to the warp i've got all the drones in so we can get back to the station That's the salvaging done. But on an alpha account you can't do it this way, you have to do it yourself. So you'd have to have that other ship docked at the station to pick up and come back. This will take about two and a half, I think it's two and a half hours or so before this would all the instance would disappear. So you've got time to pick up your ship. Do not if you want to do that, do not hand the mission back in yet. Not until you've salvaged the ships. He should have gone by now. There we go. Let's bung him back to the station. Tab back. And we can go back to the station with Blondie. He's just gone, look.
No, I just wanted to show the, show the salvaging. What we do in the station now, because I want the salvage on this account, not on his account, because Brutonius is a different account. So I'm not earning any money with him. I want the money for Blondie. I know I can give it to Blondie, but I just do it though, so that she does everything. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. You're hearing both accounts, you're hearing the other account as well. Okay, we're in. We can now hand the mission in because um, I've done the business with Bretonius with it. If it was you on your own, like I said, you'd have to change ships if you had then uh, another ship here. But we don't need to do that. So let's start the conversation, view mission, and complete the mission. And it will come up. Complete mission. Do you want to share it? If you're in a fleet, it will tell you, do you want to share it with your other fleet member? No, I don't. I want it all for Blondie. I don't want it for Brutonius. He doesn't need it. So, okay, and there we go. Cool. 81,000 ISK, 244,000 ISK, and 213 loyalty points, which is not bad. It's okay. Now, that 81,000 was a uh, bounty, I think, on the... What's he call it? Let's just check that. Um, where would I check that? Oh, yeah. In my wallet. So, uh, corporate wallet, trans transactions. Bounty prize. There you go, see? Bounty prizes. So, I've got 81,000 for killing those drones. Or the enemy. What we do now, go back to Bretonius. Uh oh why is it why is it done there? Gone black. Hmm. Yeah, it sometimes does that. I'll have to count hmm. Screen's gone on that one. I'm gonna have to cancel that account. Um well not cancel it. Log out and log back in. But that's it guys. I hope you um got some info about that. Um, I would then trade with Bretonius, who's, where are we, see, if I right click on him and go trade, obviously it's got a bug in there, in there now, sometimes that does happen, if I hit trade, I can trade with him, see, so he'll drag the stuff in there, in his option there, and accept it, and that'll be it. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that session, just about salvaging, so at least you got the main thing, I don't think I can get back into that screen, no, I'll have to click out of the game, anyway, it's not a death of the game, <laughs> um, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed that, and I thank you so much if you got this far, and I'll catch you in my next one.